We got some updates with our Baltimore Ravens, and let's just get straight into it. So everybody been looking around, wondering what's going on with Mark Andrews, what's happening with Mark Andrews, where has number 89 been? Uh, and every time John Harbaugh is up on that podium, he gets asked about Mark Andrews, understandably, because that is one of their top players uh, on the team. And John Harbaugh has continued to say it's not serious, it ain't no big deal, he'll be back out there soon, but today... He gave a definitive date for when Mark Andrews is going to return. He said that Mark Andrews will no, he said Mark Andrews should be practicing. He should be back on Wednesday. That's when they expect him back on Wednesday. So we'll be looking. We'll be waiting. We're gonna we're gonna take your word for it, John. We're gonna take your word for it, and then we'll see when we get there. Also, Ravens made some roster moves uh, because they did release quarterback Anthony Brown from the practice squad. We know Anthony Brown, undrafted rookie free agent uh, from Oregon, who they signed last year, even had a start for them last year. Uh, and he's, of course, played extensively this preseason, but they released him. But the reason they released him, we never celebrated somebody getting released. Of course not. But we're celebrating why he got released, because that Tyler Huntley, Tyler Huntley, is back. Tyler Huntley was practicing again, and that is a great thing because days ago, last week, we heard about Tyler Huntley running on the sideline and whatnot. He was doing his own thing adjacent to the practice field. So it's like, okay, he was getting closer and closer and closer, but he wasn't ready yet. But now with him practicing again, that is a great sign because Tyler Huntley's a number two guy. He's a number two. Now, Josh Johnson, hey. Josh Johnson was doing his thing in the preseason now. We know Josh Johnson got plenty of experience as well. So I expect if Tyler Huntley's good to go, then Tyler Huntley would be number two. But if Tyler Huntley isn't full go, and John Harbaugh said they really going to see this week when they practice and stuff, if Tyler Huntley's 100% or if it's going to be Josh Johnson. But either way, Ravens have options at their number two quarterback position. Now, we don't want them to have to use them. The only time we want to see the number two quarterback is if Ravens are just blowing a team out the water. And the game ain't even close. So, but it is nice to have some solid options behind Lamar Jackson. Because, of course, we say stay ready so you don't got to get ready. Now, when you uh, release somebody from a practice squad, you don't do it for no reason. Um, and that creates a, an open spot on the practice squad. So, you want to fill it because you don't want to be wasting any open roster spots on a practice squad ever. So, the Ravens made a corresponding move. They brought in cornerback Tay Hayes to the practice squad. And you know what the Baltimore Ravens, you can never, ever, ever, ever have enough cornerbacks. Ever. Uh, and I get it because we as Ravens fans, we definitely get it because we see this year, I mean, really see every year. Because every year Ravens face these cornerback issues. It's the craziest thing. I don't know what they be doing in cornerback drills, but something got to give, right? Something got to change. Uh, now, Jeff Zrebic made a uh, very interesting point today, too. And it's something that we had been unsure about uh, when Caillou Blue Kelly got released. We, we weren't sure if the Ravens, they released him with the hope of bringing him back on a practice squad because, you know, they don't like cutting draft picks. Or if they released him or like, you know what, go go flap your, your wings somewhere else. But Jeff Zrebic cleared that up today because he said the Ravens, they made the move official and he was responding. He was talking about them releasing Anthony Brown and uh, signing cornerback uh, Tay Hayes to the practice squad. Uh, but he said they've been looking for a cornerback for their practice squad. Uh, they were hoping it would be Caillou Blue Kelly, but the Seahawks plucked him off of waivers. Uh, Ravens bring back Hayes, who was with the team most of training camp. So that lets us know Ravens wanted Caillou Blue Kelly back as on a practice squad, not on the active roster. But they wanted him back because uh, maybe they, they saw a developmental role for him. Um, but something that John Harbaugh said the other day that really stuck out to me. And, and I appreciate I, I appreciated his honesty with it, because especially with with subjects like this, I'm not used to getting honesty and not used to hearing honesty from coaches, GMs, front office people. Uh, he was asked about, like, why, why would you release Caillou Blue Kelly? Well, what was the reasoning behind it? And John Harbaugh said that he felt like they had some more veteran guys that uh, needed to be on the team a bit more. And, and with Caillou Blue Kelly, they just felt like they didn't have the time for him to uh, be in there. They didn't have the time to develop him right now. Uh, they didn't have the, the time, the space, the availability to develop him right now. Uh, it was something along those lines. And I really appreciated that because that was real. That was that was real. Um, so. With Caillou Blue Kelly, it's unfortunate for him. Well, at least with his tenure with the Ravens. I mean, now he's with the Seahawks, and who knows what could happen? You never know. Because as far as when you get drafted, when you come into the league, everything is about 
timing, but it's about where you are too. It's about your location. It's about the team. It's about the needs and whatnot. Uh, so Caillou Blue Kelly, he could end up going to the Seahawks and he could blossom into something serious. I mean, look at Tariq Woolen last year. Look at him. So maybe the Seahawks get their next Tariq Woolen. We don't know. But yeah, that, that was uh, good for him. And, and But back to the Ravens, good for Tyler Huntley that he's back. Um, good that Mark Andrews will be back really soon. And we just, the good news needs to keep coming in. Because we can never have enough good or even great news. And then one last update, uh, Arthur Millette. <laughs> Arthur Millette was sitting back waiting. He was like, man, Proche, look, I, I, look, I got love for you, but I want it. That number 10. Arthur Millette, cornerback, uh, who used to be on the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Ravens signed him this offseason. He's updating his number. He updated his number to number 10. Now, for me, ugh, I think it's ugly for a cornerback for number 10. I think for number 10, kickers, punters, quarterbacks, uh, receivers, yeah, that's that's it That's it for me. Uh, but Arthur Millette is wearing number 10. I know somebody had asked on Twitter, like, Who, who's that wearing number 10 on the Ravens? It's him. Um, another thing, Jadavian Clowney, who I, I was 100% sure, I'm like, oh, yeah, he will be – Changing at 24. Once this roster cut downs, Jadavion Clowney ain't going to be a number 24 no more. Oh, oh no. Yeah, he is. <coughs> Yuck. So nasty. But I am really excited to see Jadavion Clowney in the Ravens jersey on Sunday against the team that drafted him, even though I'm sure it ain't no bad blood. That was so long ago. But against the Houston Texans. I mean, it, I'm, I'm just excited because Ravens football is back, man. It's back. Like, we officially in week one. They're preparing for week one now it's it's real now it's real so no more vanilla schemes no more vanilla offenses defense none of that even though mike mcdonald he was like vanilla what i'm sending blitzes in preseason and i'm like okay do your thing mike but everything is real now everything counts now so it makes it that much more exciting so team keep it clean we made it y'all did it y'all are amazing thank you for all your support thank you for everything you do the season is going to be fun so y'all stay tuned make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything and turn your notifications on so when we drop a video a short whatever you can get notified and you ain't gotta be seeing a video two hours three hours four hours five hours later but well, you can still watch it then too we ain't got no problem with that but you can be notified so you know when stuff goes down i love y'all i appreciate y'all and until the next time i see y'all we out